Hey friends, we're going to do some double digit addition practice. So if we are doing addition, you got to make sure our sign tells us, are we adding or subtracting or picking our nose and then our equal sign. So really quick guys with addition, double digit addition, we're going to separate our ones and our tens to help us a little bit now. And we add just straight down. So count the dots with me. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We hit five touch points. So one plus four is five. And this is in the ones column. That's very important that we remember that. This is the ones. This column is the tens. And each column we add on goes up. Oh, that glare makes it a little hard to see, but it says ones. This column here is the tens. And same thing, we're just going to add straight down the tens column. So three plus two equals, I don't know, let's find out. Let's hit the touch points. Ready? So one, two, three, four, five. Three plus two is five. And our answer, you guys, is 55. Nice job. Round of applause. All right, now let's switch it up. And let's say instead of addition, we're doing subtraction. So we're going to be minusing. The sign tells us here, subtraction. We're taking numbers down, taking numbers away. Now, there's a little catchphrase I like to say. So we have 31 minus or subtract 24. Uh-oh. Is the 1 bigger than the 4 or smaller? That's right. The 1 is smaller. So we're in trouble here. Because with subtraction, we can't have a small number on top. So if there's more on the floor or more on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, we have to go next door and borrow 10 more. So this is what it looks like. So our three, we cross out our three because we're going to borrow one set of 10 from the three. So our three or our 30 goes down to a 20. And we borrow that 10 and put it here with our 1 to make it 11. So what's 11 subtract 4? So let's count backwards. We're counting down from 11. So we have 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Counting down in our 1's column, 11 minus 4 is 7. And here we go. Oh, it's not a 3. We borrowed, the we borrowed a 10 from the 30 and made it to 20. So what's two subtract two? So ready, two, one, zero. <gasps> so you can, if you want to, you could write a zero or you could leave it blank. And we're gonna leave our tens column blank. So 31 subtract 24 equals seven. Great job, my friends. I hope this helps you guys a little bit with touch point math. Good luck out there.